Hi, I'm Reinzi, and this is Reinzi Reviews. The idea is to make review videos for each single game I play, of course the honest ones, and find answers to your question. Is this game worth playing at all? So grab your snacks and let's dive into it. It's not how much you steal, it's what you steal. And how you steal it. And that isn't true at all, because this game makes you feel a bit like Kleptoman, who is trying to steal everything which isn't glued to the surface, starting from hand mirrors, brushes, forks or candlesticks, following with rare loot like rings, brochures and paintings. And I still have the same question which I had at the start of the game, where does he put the candlestick? Thief game takes place in the dark and mystical place with gothic buildings called the city. The city is filled with rich and poor people, but no one in the middle, and Garrett is like Robin Hood who steals from rich, but with one exception, he doesn't give it back to the poor, he keeps it. All what you pick up is converted into the gold, which is later used for useful upgrades like skill points and emissions like arrows. Whole story is about magical ritual which took place in the start of the game in Major's mansion, followed by Erin who is Garrett's friend falling on it from rooftop. Then after the magic ritual there is sickness called gloom which has spread all around the city. Then after it whole story is about discovering mystery behind the ritual, who started it, why someone wants it, where is Erin, is she even alive and at the end Garrett learns important lesson to trust his close ones. I would say the story is really interesting at least until the end, because at the end everything ends so fast that you can't understand what's happened and for example I felt a bit disappointed. It would be great if there would be a following which explained more about what is happening further, but there is no followings, so you are left with a lot of questions. Did we save the city? Is Erin alive? Has the gloom stopped? Anything changed? And so on. So I would rate this story about 4 out of the 10. This game is all about stealth, which actually is really great. You can try to sneak past the guards, try to take them down by shooting an arrow in their face, try to distract them by throwing bottle or putting light down, it's up to you. Although I wouldn't recommend to fight with them, because game mechanics for hand-to-hand -hand combat really sucks. It's easy to fight against one guard, sort of boring, dodging obvious attacks and then counterattacking them back. Although versus two and more, <laughs> it's close to impossible. So it means the game is trying to persuade you to use only stealth. Because you are the thief at the end, right? Master thief. Bow mechanics are pretty nice, with a lot of options. Shoot an arrow to kill, use water arrow to take light down, blunt arrow to press light buttons, rope arrow to discover new locations and a lot more. Sometimes you will have a hard time to take down guards because you need to be really close behind them to take them down. At start, for me it was really frustrating, but at the end I got too used to it. So for the combat I would give it 6 out of the 10. Movement is pretty good, which makes you feel like shadow floating around the city, although there is a lot of problems. For example, if you are on the rope, it takes ages to turn, like literally. You can climb on obstacles, which are advised by game developers, and no other obstacles. Sometimes you can jump down from somewhere just going forward, sometimes pressing button, sometimes you can't do it. Or there is an interesting case with jumping over gaps. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. For example, in this case, you had to run, then stop at the end and then only jump so it would work. This part was really exciting. Running, jumping, sliding, yeah, but <laughs> actually nothing more. So for the movement, I would give something like 5 of the 10. The city is built really nicely and it's really big, with a lot of places to go and discover, although it is painful and time consuming to reach from one point to another, like thousands of loading screens going in the wrong directions, trying to sneak past guards and so on. Worst part is that you can only highlight missions, not other things in the map, which makes it almost impossible to navigate in the map. The aesthetics are on its peak, with dark shadows where Garrett can hide from guards, mist which goes through all city, the dark tones and so on. The world is built like a maze, with a lot of different parts, for example stone market where Bosso lives, then this part, then bank where you can find and steal from the safe, house of blossoms where you can take a peek on a... Yeah, Alasium, which is really scary, with a lot of jump scares. I had a really bad time going through it and I was scared all the time. So for the world I would give 5 of the 10 because the aesthetics was really nice, but although the movement through the map is really painful. I had got lost for I don't know how many times and it took at least 2 hours to go through the map. Characters are pretty plain, with dialogues which repeat them all over again. Usually lips are not synchronized, they are really bad humor. So you still can't work a door. 
You don't come to see me, you don't write. And Garrett, dialogues feel like he's bored all the time and doesn't put any effort to talk with someone. You know, as an aqua teenager going through his crush. Back to me, Mr. Thief. Your pockets uh, await my whoops. coins. Excuse me. <sighs> yeah, sure. Sometimes subtitles go a bit faster than they are talking, and it kind of made me feel a bit bad. There is a lot of main characters, like for example Baron, which is the leader of the city, Orion, bro Baron's brother, which wants the, all the power, Eren, Garrett's friend in crime, Basso, who supplies Garrett with side quests, Hector, who is eager to build his metal robot, of course, the thief taking general, who is <laughs> just sick in his head and trying all the time to take us down, Garrett, the main character, who is the master thief, of course, the beggar's queen, who gives the skill points for you and gives some kind of advices how to go through the story. And I didn't connect really with neither of the characters, which just gives the feeling of plain story writing and not putting effort into the characters so you would get attached to them and just, I don't know, maybe cry at the end of the game, right? So for the characters I would give something like 4 of the 10. Besides main mission there is a lot of to do, trying to find all loot, collectibles, platings, paintings and trying to upgrade all possible upgrades. You can upgrade Garrett's equipment, like to open faster the doors or chests, do more damage with arrows, get more health and focus and so on. And you can upgrade your skills, like to see where is the most expensive loot are, not to take damage from falling, be more quiet when sneaking past the guards and so on. And for me the most interesting part is the side mission which are made to make your brain work. You need to discover how to steal something expensive, which is protected by traps, puzzles and tons of guards, and even dogs and birds, which alerts all guards. For things to do, I would give 9 of the 10, because there is a lot of to do. For me it took almost 16 hours to complete our game with main missions and side quests. I think if you want to collect our loot, it will take at least 20 hours to do it. And those 16 hours was in medium difficulty. Imagine how long it would take if you picked the most hardest difficulty, where you can't save game, don't have a vision and so on, I think it's impossible. I would say my attention was kept all the time, however sometimes it got boring. But again, something interesting happened, like you get to understand more what is happening around and they kinda take your attention again. For the game length I would give something like 7 of the 10, because it was mostly interesting and the game is long to play, so you will get lost in this maze of trying to find where to go. So in this section there is like plus points for some kind of different things. For example, free choice. In my opinion, I think it's important that games give you chance to choose how you would like to do it. For example, to kill someone or not to. Take this route and save or go load in. This game gives a bit of both of these things. For example, there is more than one route to complete the side mission or go past the guards, to sneak through the tunnels, climb over roofs, sneak past guards, take them down or even go all in with wacky hand-to-hand -hand combat. And even in the story there is given an option to kill thief taking general or not to. In my opinion, you have to do it, because he's really a sick person in his head. Brain usage, I think you have to use a lot of your brain cells to complete some kind of sign missions, because you need to remember, for example, numbers or signs, or need to find the signs or read the letters and so on. Open world factor is really good for this game, that you can discover a lot of places, go inside a lot of like rooms, buildings, try to sneak past some kind of traps and so on, so I think it's really nice to have open world in this game. Item upgrades? I think it's one of the most important things in the games is about the item upgrades because it gives you some kind of like feeling that you are learning, you are growing in the game and you are trying to find all the loot to complete your character. Yeah, there is one more thing that you can collect all those kind of expensive things which doesn't mean anything to you but it is nice that you have chance to try to search every corner of the game to just to find all those collectibles and complete the game to 100%. The game overall is focused on stealth, so if you are interested in that, the game is made for you, with a lot of to steal, discover, solve puzzles, sneak past guards, plan your routes and so on. Although if you are interested in enjoying the game without brain hurting puzzles, good character dialogues, beautiful story, then maybe you should skip this game. Although, try it for yourself, it's only my opinion, maybe yours is different. He's doing, oh yeah, nice, what are you cleaning? I'll be a 